first of all to say something about this installation. We, we think in architecture, showing architecture in, in a museum, it's important to, to show space as such. And, and we decided to um, build a piece, let's say, of the Villa Shore in this room. Uh, and it shows a series of columns because the house is made by, let's say, rooms made out of columns. And uh, it's actually supporting an existing house which is on top of it. Uh, so somehow we slide it underneath the existing house, a new house. And uh, so the columns are actually structural, the beams also, and this makes rooms uh, that follow a certain structural logic of the house above, but also define a new rhythm. And uh, so you could say columns make rooms, they are made out of concrete, and suddenly we have to put glass in them. And there we switched the column into a steel column, but dressed in wood that is stained again in, uh, in uh, grain, uh, gray painted wood. And so there is this game of, let's say, um, uh, a wooden, and, and concrete columns, which we try to show here, but in a much more abstract way. And, and what is very important also is that it's not only about the columns and about the beams, because there's even beams in the floor, let's say, that make the threshold for each of the rooms that compose the house, but it's also about the infills. It's almost like a, a Roman villa, where uh, each floor has a different, um, mosaic floor huh? and in this house uh, we made floors of different tones of, of uh, brown in leather, in um, concrete, in wood, uh, terrazzo. So they, but and of course again here back let's say in Montreal we, we, we need to somehow make this clear but in another way and the, the challenge for us was exactly this, how can you show space but without literally copying it. This room, which is a one-to-one -one, uh, representation of uh, the Shore House or the Villa Shore, um, we chose this house because we feel it was an important uh, project in a, a family of projects we've been doing uh, in that period of time. So many experiments, uh, let's say six, seven years ago, were about uh, the room uh, and the threshold. So also this project is in a way a sequence of rooms. Uh, whereas other projects they had essentially uh, opaque walls with openings, uh, creating an enfilade-like setting. I'd say a little bit like uh, the rooms here at the CCA, uh, which together with Go we somehow appropriated by adding this, um, this uh, yellow carpet. Uh, we felt that almost as a counter uh, project uh, to this, in a way, appropriated room project of, 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 the, of the totality of the show, it was interesting to, to put a kind of uh, a broader uh, spatial concept uh, in the middle of it. So uh, a fragment of the shore house, almost like a Roman house, uh, a set of rooms again, but made only by columns, almost like a dotted line instead of a straight line. So um, as a result, we felt it is in a way uh, an in-between step almost. Uh, it's not that our office, of course, works in, in linear uh, evolution, but it's uh, where Initially, all these rooms were very much about what you could and could not see. Um, in a way, here, uh, we already try to reduce perimeter uh, to its absolute minimum. So a set of columns, you can walk from inside to outside. You can see uh, through almost the totality of the house in reality, and also here you can see still uh, the spatial organization of the CCA. But at the same time, you see that with a minimum of intervention, uh, you define another space. So we're standing in here, since we decided not to reproduce uh, the house, which is originally on top, uh, it almost becomes like a patio. I feel that our relationship with these types is very much also about how you can revitalize, in a way, very old uh, figures, very old uh, spatial figures, um, but by changing its materiality or by changing its uh, kind of um, its rhythm, its, its repetition, it somehow becomes uh, another project, in a way, a contemporary house.